I want to get a shot of this to kind of start things off. This is, you set this up everywhere you go, or? Yeah. This is, a very... I this is hers. Oh, this is yours. Yeah. You have to go to my room to see mine. He does. Do you have something, something similar in your room, or? Well, basically, earth, air, fire, and water, and everything else is gravy for me. For you. She's blowing bubbles with wavy gravy bubbles. Yeah, we're here with wavy gravy. Here, scanny. See, you get close in. Here I am. And on the uh, bubbles. On the bubbles. Uh, I'm becoming a clown glomerate. There's also... <laughs> hey, give him a wavy gravy nose, for God's sake. Okay. Here, the wavy gravy nose for you, sir. Done. Thank you. Now you're hooked up. I... Ooh! They're bri bribing me with clown... <laughs> bribing me with clown noses before we start the interview. It's good to get on my good side. Uh, so we're here with Wavy Gravy and director Michelle Estrick, and uh, they've made a film called Saint Misbehaven. Do you, are you trying to get attention on her? Well, she made the film. I am uh, uh, merely the subject. Merely the subject. Um, and so it is, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about it? Maybe you can give it a better, a better feel than I can, Michelle. Well, the film is really... I wanted to focus on Wavy's message. You know, it's not a it's not a biography. It's really the focus is really his message that he's lived his whole life, laid his body down for peace and justice. And um, we met in ninety in the nineties, and I thought he was the most amazing soul I'd ever met, and uh, wanted to pour gravy on the world. Peace without justice sucks. It's very. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I mean, it's nice that people don't get shot and killed, but uh, justice is uh, what we're rooting for. Did you? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I was going to ask immediately off the bat what drew you to him, and I'm not sure I have to ask anymore. <laughs> but uh, obviously, you've got a big, like a major energy about you. Mm -hmm. You, 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 sir, have uh, never been afraid I, to maybe put yourself out there. I. Uh, uh, Try to put my good where it'll do the most, which is a, a, a nudge that I got from one of my mentors, a gentleman named Ken Kesey. Uh, right, of the electric Kool-Aid acid test. I wrote a wonderful haiku when Kesey passed away. It goes like, <clears throat> they say Kesey's dead, but never trust a prankster, even underground. Now, when Jan Winter published this in Rolling Stone, he left out the uh, B-U-T. So I wrote a letter back, Jan, have you seen my butt? <laughs> and they had to republish the whole thing, uh, the following issue, with my butt intact. There you have it. Hopefully, did, were you there for a photo shoot of your butt? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> I think the thing that really um, attracted me the most to Wavy, being a peace activist myself, it's just his humor. He makes you laugh, and that opens opens you up. It connects everybody, and you can hear the message so much clearer that way. And, you know, Wavy says, when, when you laugh, your defenses go down, and it's really true. And so, and he does it in a way that, that he shares the message in a way that's not preaching or telling people what to do. You, you're in front of Wavy, and... and you just walk away going, God, I want to go help somebody, you know, and, and realize how much fun it is to do that, you know. How long have you been involved in peace activism? Myself? Mm -hmm. Always. Since birth. <laughs> Always wanted to help, mm -hmm. be in, helpful. In the process of making this documentary, have you learned anything? Uh, I mean, what have you learned about yourself or about peace activism that maybe you hadn't known before? I want you to tell them about the thing you did with the poets that got kicked out of the White House. The poem's not fit for the White House. Uh, well, that's when the 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 Bushes, Laura Bush, had had uh, planned to do a symposium for a, a poetry uh, at the White House uh, for Emily Dickinson, Langston Hughes, and Walt Whitman, three of our most subversive poets, and. Um, she canceled it because so many people wanted to send peace poems, and it became a controversy uh, because about 12,000 people sent peace poems, and she canceled it. And so I produced event, an event called uh, Poems Not Fit for the White House. And um, 
It was a town hall, right? It in was New a, York, it was in a, New York no, City. No, 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 no. Lincoln, no. Lincoln Center. Center. Yes. Lincoln's even better. Avery Fisher Hall <laughs> woke up to the fourth largest blizzard in New York, and everybody, uh, mass transit was shut down, and 2,000 people showed up for peace and justice. And uh, Avery <laughs> Fisher <laughs> Hall. <laughs> and uh, I believe that everybody, every single person, wants to do good in the world, would like to see peace, would like to see people connected. They might have different ideas about it, but I believe that everybody uh, everybody would like to feel love and peace in their heart and connected to everybody else. Even if they don't want to do a reading of civil disobedience at the Rose Garden of the yeah, White House? people might have different ideas, but the basic idea, if you, I've never met anyone who said, I don't want peace. They might have a different way of going about mm -hmm. it. But it's, you know, Wavy Gravy's message is really put your good work will do the most. You know, go help do, you know, do the kind of activism that inspires you. Go help somebody that you want to help. It's not about what he does. The way and he have does fun it. and have fun doing it, whatever you do. Uh, if, if it's not fun, it's, it's my job as an intuitive clown to take poop and turn it into fun, to take work and make it fun, whatever it is, uh, give me an F! <laughs> and I think the message, too, that comes across in the film is that you, that we can't take ourselves too seriously. We have to keep our sense of humor or else it's really hard to stick with it. Bonnie Raitt said, you know, you got to have a little sugar with your medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, you just you can't stay serious all the time. And there's a... Wavy deals with such serious subjects like blindness with the Seba Foundation, and um, you know, if you just you just can't stick with it unless you keep your sense of humor. The two main slices of my life are Seba Foundation working on curable and preventable blindness is at seva.org, and eighty percent of the people in the world that are blind actually don't need to be blind and are thought of in the third world as a mouth without hands. Uh, so I've been raising with the help of the Grateful Dead over the last 30 years. We've done over 2 million sight-saving operations in India, Nepal, Tanzania, Cambodia, etc. Et the other thing I do is a, a circus and performing arts camp for kids uh, 7 to 14 called Camp Winter Rainbow. And this is also very much... Uh, in the movie, and that was a piece of food shooting out of my mouth. I hope, I hope you got it. It probably looks like a little comet on the screen. It's okay. We we had a bird attack in the last interview yesterday, so a little food coming out. It's not uh, not going to hurt anyone. Where did it land? Uh, the bird. Uh, oh, on, on, on the food or the bird? Uh, the bird landed on someone's head almost. Oh, oh good. And I don't know where the food landed. <laughs> um, uh, I maintain you're not what you eat. You are what you don't poop. <laughs> you don't do you poop fun fun i thought yeah. that was the message <laughs> um wavy do you do you find it difficult at all ever striking a balance between the very very serious work um or you know what is what is very heartbreaking work often and keeping a smile on your face and trying to keep up this sort of intuitive clown uh you know, ethos about you? In in the in the Save a Foundation, uh, a lot of the docs and health workers worked on smallpox eradication, so I got to look at a lot of pustules and then uh, uh, segueing into dripping eyeballs. Ram does says, I'll raise the money, don't show me any money.